right, babe, what's the plan tonight? Okay, so last night we got started with riveting the top skins on the left wing. And there's a couple of methods of doing this. The plans even describe this. So typically, I mean, obviously you can use a, a rivet gun. You have to use a rivet gun for these. You can't squeeze them. Uh, and a bucking bar. And, uh, you know, that's the typical method of, of riveting. That's how we did the tail cone skins and how we do so many skins. But uh, the plans gives you an option to consider back riveting the wings. And uh, I'll tell you, just off of the couple we've done right now, the quality of the rivets are really, really great. They're super flush. But you need some extra special tools to be able to do that. So first of all, this is a big, scary 12-inch long uh, back riveting set that I use. And remember, back riveting you do from the back side to set the shop head. And uh, you know, so I'm using that. And then over here on this side of the wing, let me step around here. And this will be. This is my duty. Yeah. So this is what what you're doing. Uh, this is a giant heavy bucking bar that then you hold, you put the rivet in and hold it very, very firm to make sure it doesn't bounce around like a traditional bucking bar, but hold it very, very firm. And uh, I set the rivet on the, on the other side. And as you can see, the finish of this is, I mean, really, really great. These are super smooth. There is no, you know, light, puckering or light deformation. This That's very common and natural with the traditional method of riveting, but these are super, super smooth. I mean, really, really high quality finish. So uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing the final result. Well, fingers crossed I, that it continues. Oh, you'll do great. All right. Okay.